Danny Segura here at the ADCC Trials in Coconut Creek alongside Wagner Rocha, who uh, placed first, and it looks like he'll be going to Sao Paulo. How do you feel about that? I, it's my dream to go to uh, Brazil and fight uh, a grappling tournament. So uh, five hard matches today against uh, a lot of tough, tough competition. So I'm, I'm stoked, man. I'm, I'm thrilled. You know, this is, was an easy, wasn't an easy day, and I, uh, I got, uh, I've got a win on this tournament in, uh, for the second time now, and pretty happy. Now, um, will you be focusing more in jiu-jitsu? Obviously, you have uh, an MMA career as well. No, I, uh, the MMA is what, uh, what pays the bills. So I still got a UFC contract. So I'm, I'm just doing this for the love. This is what I love to do. This is why I started. This is what started everything for me, and this is one of the tournaments I really loved. And, and this, uh, this competition came to my backyard, so in my house. So I was like, I wasn't gonna let anybody come over here and win a trip on uh, in my yard. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you had a, a lot of support in the crowd. Uh, how'd you feel out there that you know a lot of people were supporting and, and you know hoping that you would win? It felt like uh, the local shows, the local fights I have had here in the past. You know, like fighting in uh, in fight time <laughs> with home base uh, advantage. It's it's pretty easy, you know. So uh, what's next for your uh, MMA career? I know you still have a UFC contract. Uh, when will we see you in the octagon? Um, I had a little knee injury, and I started training from it. And uh, I'm starting to feel a lot better, you know, as you see today. So hopefully uh, when, um, when I'm done, you know, figuring out what's next for me, I, most likely probably towards the end of the year, I'm not sure. You know, I have a, a situation with my business I'm trying to get resolved. I have a gym I teach at, and I have another gym that I just opened. So I'm trying to get that uh, mainstream, you know, focus, because that's my main income. Uh, when I get that uh, all situated, then I'm probably going to figure out what my next step is for my fights. Now, last question. Uh, the Reebok deal ca recently came out. A lot of fighters are not too happy with it. Some are. Uh, what are your thoughts on that, and have you taken time to sit down and, and analyze it, what the deal uh, will do to you? Um, honestly, I haven't really uh, looked back on uh, what, uh, what, how it's going to affect me. But I mean, you got to figure it's a good, uh, it's a good principle moving forward. But you know, there's lots of good and pros and cons to it. So I mean, the UFC knows what's best, and we can't argue. You know, you got to do what we're being told to do. So I'm, I'm just happy to be there and, and get opportunity to be sponsored by a big organization and fighting a big organization, and now another organization, big one. So it's just big steps. You know, just moving forward. Okay, well, thank you so much, and uh, enjoy the victory.